The Home Health Quality Improvement National Campaign welcomes you to Lifestyle Modifications Part 1, Weight Reduction, Dash, and Sodium Reduction. This video is the first of a two-part series of videos for clinicians who want to help their patients reduce their risk for a heart attack and a stroke by promoting lifestyle modification. There are additional videos in the cardiovascular health series that are designed to be shared with your patients as supplemental education, and others are intended as refreshers for clinicians on evidence-based practices. In this clinician video, we will present information on the lifestyle modifications of weight reduction, the DASH eating plan, and sodium reduction. As a clinician, you know that cardiovascular disease is the most prevalent disease and leading cause of death among adults over 18 in our country. Alarming numbers of people are diagnosed with cardiovascular disease each year, including younger populations. The American Heart Association has clearly identified multiple risk factors for cardiovascular disease, many of which can be reduced or eliminated with lifestyle modifications. How many of your patients have one or more of these risk factors? How can you help them with lifestyle modifications to reduce their risk factors? In this video, we will provide some evidence-based strategies for you to use with your patients who have one or more risk factors for cardiovascular disease. Let's start by looking at the cardiovascular risk factors of high blood pressure, obesity, and overweight. According to multiple resources, these specific risk factors can be reduced or eliminated by choosing a healthy lifestyle. American Heart Association, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and Joint National Committee are a few of the organizations that recommend lifestyle changes such as eating healthy, maintaining a healthy weight, and moving more as strategies to reduce the risk factors of high blood pressure, obesity, and overweight. Weight Reduction for many of your patients, the first step in maintaining a healthy weight may likely be weight reduction. Weight reduction can reduce the systolic blood pressure by 5 to 20 millimeters of mercury for every 10 kilograms lost, which is about 22 pounds. This modification can provide a significant improvement, but it will take time to lose over 20 pounds. It is important to implement additional lifestyle modifications in conjunction with this effort to allow the time for the weight loss to happen. DASH The DASH food plan is a great way to shed the extra pounds and reduce blood pressure since it includes healthy foods that are lower in sodium, calories, and fats. DASH stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. The DASH eating plan is good for most people since it promotes healthy eating. The focus of the DASH eating plan is to include foods that are rich in fruits, vegetables, fat-free or low-fat milk and milk products, whole grains, fish, poultry, beans, seeds, and nuts. It is also designed to reduce salt and sodium, sweets, added sugars and sugar-containing drinks, fats, and red meats. The DASH eating plan provides the specific food group with the designated number of servings per day based upon the number of calories per day. Samples of serving sizes and examples of food are included. It is important to assess if the patient lives in areas where fresh fruit and vegetables are not available or are too expensive. Frozen or canned fruits and vegetables can be used. However, the extra salt or sugars in the cans will need to be rinsed. Teach your patients the importance of planning out meals for the week ahead and then buying those foods. If there's not a plan, it is too easy to grab something that is not a healthy choice. Sodium Reduction Reducing sodium is another key part of the DASH eating plan to reduce high blood pressure. The recommendation is to cut sodium to about 1,500 milligrams a day, but you should check with the patient's practitioner since some people cannot tolerate that low level. A food diary allows a patient to record their total intake and sodium for one day. Teach the patient to read labels and determine salt content, but you may have to help them find the sodium content. This may take time to assist patients to self-discover how high their sodium intake really is. Another visual activity is with table salt. Write down the 1500 milligrams for the patient to see and measure out 3 quarters teaspoon of salt and place it on the plate. Explain 1500 milligrams is the amount of sodium recommended for a day. 
then take the amount of sodium the patient has consumed for one day, for example, almost 3,500 milligrams. Show the patient the difference between the recommended sodium intake and his actual sodium intake. The cards and salt piles are visual props to show the patient that he took in about 2,000 milligrams more sodium than the recommended amount. The six tips to cut sodium tool is included on the HHQI website, and it is in the My Healthy Heart workbook. Lifestyle modifications reduce risk for high blood pressure and ultimately for heart attack and stroke. Find different ways to teach and motivate the patient to participate and actually lead their care planning. One suggestion is to use a patient workbook or an action plan. HHQI's free My Healthy Heart Workbook is on our website. The workbook includes short sections on all six of the lifestyle modifications. Also watch the Lifestyle Modifications Part 2, Physical Activity, Alcohol Moderation, and Smoking Cessation for information related to three additional lifestyle modifications. More information on lifestyle management is available in the HHQI's free Fundamental Focus Blood Pressure Control and Smoking Cessation Best Practice Intervention Package located on HHQI's website. There are additional cardiovascular clinician and patient videos on this website. We hope that you were able to brush up on the evidence-based strategies that can assist your patients in improving their cardiovascular health.